Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. Join me as we uncover unique energy solutions across Canada. Every week, we'll bring you the stories of people in businesses and communities who are changing the way we power this country. Today, we're in Dawson Creek, British Columbia. This little city of 12,000 people in northeastern British Columbia is in the heart of oil and gas country. But this little city is so serious about reducing their carbon emissions, they've imposed a $100 per ton carbon levy on themselves. They use the funds to fund green energy and energy conservation programs. Dawson Creek's residents may live in the middle of oil and gas country, but they're leaders when it comes to green energy. It was residents in a local group that started the Bear Mountain Wind Project, a 102 megawatt wind farm that produces five times more electricity than the residents require. The Peace Energy Cooperative was the breeding ground for Dawson Creek's commitment to sustainability. Cheryl Schumann was a member of the co-op. Today, she's a city councillor. My belief is that it all started with the Peace Energy Cooperative and the, and the group of people that came together, and it sort of spread from there. It spread to City Hall. Um, certain members that were busy with, co with the cooperative were also on City Council. Our former mayor, Calvin Cruck, uh, our former councillor, Marilyn Bellick, um, myself, you know, um, and it, it spread to the city and, and this whole concept of sustainable Dawson Creek come along, planning for people. And then it sort of, you know, spread over to the community college and uh, so now they're doing really great things and and then, you know, you see it spreading to the communities around you and, and to the province, really. So I think that, uh, I think that, you know, when you have a good idea and you start acting on it, that other people will get excited and, and want to be involved. The process started back in 2003 when council felt it was time for a vision check. Since then, they've planned and started building a green energy future. While Mayor Mike Bernier loves to brag about Bear Mountain Wind Park, he's particularly proud of the city's latest initiative, a $100 per ton internal carbon tax on municipal emissions. In its first year, the fund is projected to receive $360,000. That money will be used to fund energy efficiency projects and renewable energy projects such as solar panels on the new Calvin Crux Center for the Arts. Its biggest effect? It ensures the city considers carbon emissions as part of every decision made. Now that we have the carbon fund in the city of Dawson Creek, every time we make our decisions around what we're doing when, when we're building new structures, we're always taking into consideration now that we have this carbon fund. We're always looking at uh, the longevity of a, of a new building. So for instance, the new arts centre we're building. We could have saved a little bit of money by doing something cheaper now, but it would have cost over the lifetime of that building uh, a lot more. So what I mean by that is, can we take money from our carbon fund and pay the money up front for solar systems, for maybe a nice uh, energy efficient boiler system, for a small district heating system, put that money up front because we know over the next 15 to 20 years that that money not only will be paid back, but that's when you'll also start having savings. It might not be as warm as the Mediterranean in Dawson Creek, but they receive comparable amounts of solar energy. With that knowledge, they've invested in solar thermal hot water systems on many municipal buildings, including City Hall, in order to reduce emissions. The city of Dawson Creek has more hours of sunlight than the Mediterranean. Unfortunately, sometimes it's about minus 20, but beautiful blue sky and we always have lots of sun here. Well, City Hall, we've uh, obviously done a lot of the electrical retrofits. Uh, we've hired uh, now an energy manager who's going to continue working with us to look at more ways of saving energy uh, within our own City Hall. But when you go to the, the projects we're doing for carbon emission reductions, we have our solar voltaic systems, we have our solar hot water systems. We've gone through and uh, made sure everything at City Hall we do is we th look at all of our policies around carbon emissions. So even right down to vehicle purchasing, uh, make sure that we have everything right sized and you know usually hybrid vehicles now too, as well. One of the latest hires for Dawson Creek is energy manager Matthew McWilliam. His salary is paid by BC Hydro and his job is to help the city use less energy. So far we're looking at um, bringing some LED street lights into Dawson Creek to replace the current technology, which is a high pressure sodium. Um, these lights represent one third the total energy consumption of the current technology, so you compound that by 500 lights, which is what the city is responsible for, and, and the savings are significant. Perhaps you can excuse Cheryl Schumann's enthusiasm when she calls her hometown Awesome Dawson. 
But if you stay in town long enough, you might just find out how committed this little northern city is to going carbon neutral right in the heart of oil and gas country. For a video tour of the fancy energy center at the Northern Lights College, photos of Dawson Creek's passive Haas, and much more, visit greenenergyfutures.ca. We'd love to hear from you on Facebook and Twitter. I'm David Dodge.